sprinkling in on there because I think that's one of the biggest wrestling you know topics that it is out there these days about what is going down with CM Punk of course today we caught wind on basically uh, CM Punk sending a, a huge uh, number of uh, paperwork over to WWE threatening a lawsuit basically saying that you know he's been you know sitting at home he hasn't been working so he hasn't been getting that normal paycheck but you know WWE has been out there selling t-shirts and they've been selling you know stuffed animals and you know everything that they offer on WWE shop they've been selling these things and CM Punk hasn't been seeing any of the royalties and then I think the one thing that really put it over the edge that I've seen in stories is that they're going to be featuring him in the WWE 2K15 video game even though he's been out of the company um, since January, uh, they didn't do the roster reveal uh, until August. I don't know if anybody's ever, you know, done the work and seen like who the newest superstar that's going to be featured in the game is and when they debuted, and you know if they could put somebody into the game. Uh, why can't they take somebody out of the game? I don't think that WWE is really trying to stick it to them. I don't think that they think they're going to make any more money because CM Punk is in the game. I think CM Punk being in the game is almost more of a distraction um, other than anything else out there um, about him being in there. I, I don't understand why, why somebody would be excited that CM Punk is in the game. It's not like, you know, I can't see this guy wrestle on Monday nights because he's not in the company anymore. So, you know, after Monday Night Raw, I'll just pop in the video game. I'll play a few rounds of CM Punk and I'll be just as excited as I saw him. CM Punk, uh, you know, is... Is not one of my favorite guys. I, I don't really like to say that I like CM Punk. I do like CM Punk matches. Uh, like a match like CM Punk versus John Cena Night of Champions from a few years ago. Uh, when they had the, uh, the, the sort of the draw where I believe they pinned each other at the same time in the match. And the ref counted each sh uh, guy's shoulders down for the 1-2-3. Punk got to keep his championship and they moved on from there. Um, I think those are the kind of matches that, you know, I want to see again. Those are the matches that you should be looking out and finding on the WWE Network. It, it's most of the CM Punk matches that you're going to want to remember. Um, you know, I know that everybody likes to bring up during uh, CM Punk's big, long title run. Um, in the company, he wasn't even really main eventing, you know, what was going down. Uh, you know, he was being featured in a heavily featured spot because he was the WWE champion and he was carrying around the belt. But it was like John Cena against John Laronitis, John Cena against Alberto Del Rio, John Cena against Big Show. Those were the matches that were taking the main event spots. Even though they were matches that, you know, if you really ask somebody what match you were really looking forward to on the show, it wasn't those matches. You know, John Cena is always going to be. Uh, the number one focus of the company, and maybe that's one of the reasons why CM Punk actually left. I think for, there was times in the company when he was being, you know, uh, you know, being the number, you know, one point one guy, uh, you know, or maybe he was one A or one B. Uh, I don't think he was ever going to be, you know, CM Punk's spot. Uh, maybe. Um, I think there was a time when he did get hurt, but I think it wasn't even that long. They, they they didn't even take Cena off TV. Maybe they were having fear of Cena not being there, but, you know, like Hell in a Cell, Cena got hurt, and uh, basically uh, they, they still brought him to the show in order to work the pre-show during the Q&A, just so maybe you would think that CM Punk was at least in the building uh, for the Ryback versus uh, CM Punk match. Maybe he would get somehow involved because of how much these guys really didn't get Get, uh, get along together, and basically, it was supposed to be CM Punk versus John Cena.